Hey, we're live and I'm blurry. Look at that. That's fantastic. <laughs> Maybe it'll come in a second. Anyway, hey, welcome to the show, everybody. So for the old folks out there, be respectful of those who wish to choose the pronouns, the pronouns that they want to describe themselves. Honor who they are. Of course, I'm old and mine will continue to be loser and nitwit. Let's start the show. <laughs> In a cabin going crazy Cause a flu that's worse than swine Swept the planet, so damn it Here we are in quarantine Hello, and welcome to Virtual Comedy Show. Here are some etiquette guidelines for Virtual Comedy Show. Please arrive 15 minutes early. Please be quiet, except for laughing. We've been a Zoom meeting civilization for more than a year. Come on, you know the drill. Just be polite. We would like to see your face as part of the audience. Let's be social, not just distant. So get comfortable, plan to laugh, but not heckle. And let's make our strange quarantined world a bit more normal for a little while. Thanks, and enjoy the Virtual Comedy Show. Hey, everyone. It's time for the Virtual Comedy Show. Starring Brad. And Steve Goody! Tonight, Brad and Steve welcome their very special guest, Joe Bates! Live from their respective quarantined homes. And now, please welcome Brad Tassel! Yay! <laughs> Here I am outside Gilligan's Island for the old people in the room. It's good to see everybody. We've got new people, and, and Jeff and Mary are here, and of course, Alice and everybody, and Joe Bates. Joe, uh, this is your first time here. Yeah, It's hard yeah. to find a newer picture of you. How old was that picture? Uh, I just, if, I, if I shave, I'll look exactly like that. No questions oh, okay, asked. Good. So it wasn't that long ago. It's just you've got, you've got, everybody will see you have a beard on. So that's great. So, okay. So, well, I'm Brad Tassel. This is the Virtual Comedy Show. Welcome, everybody. This is where we do the jokes, have some acts, and then we go on our merry way. So is everybody ready to start? Yay. That's it right now. Okay. And by the way, I haven't read any of these jokes even once. So let's see how that goes. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> by the way, retired widow. Here we go. Let's start. Retired widow, uh, senior, uh, Julia Yankowski of Largo, Florida, went to her bank last weekend and she had $999,985,855.94 in her account. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. Uh, she was going to the ATM hoping to withdraw $20. Uh, she isn't sure how the money got there, but she is very surprised. And in other news, I'm getting married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to marry her. She's a widow. Okay, great. Oh, okay. It's not starting Tell good. Tell that one a few more times. You might get divorced. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Yeah, do that joke three or more times. My wife will walk in and go, we're done. Okay. Hey, you know, I love to see this. Selma Hayek, we all love, is empowering women. And at 54, she told Jada Pinkett Smith on the red table that women do not have an expiration date. Come on, that is yeah. amazing. Yeah. They yeah. can kick ass at any age. And I say, good for you, ladies, because I really need to lie down. I'm crusty old crap. Let's just <laughs> <laughs> Please, do it for me. Please. Yeah. Yeah. So, by the way, in, in Hayek's uh, new movie, The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. Have you heard of that? Uh, Hayek told producers her character was going to go through menopause because it's the perfect age for women to do action when they're in menopause. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Lauren Mayer now just said, I'm ready for my close up. So I, anyway. <laughs> character. That's right. Menopause so, is a superpower. That's right. It is. It truly is. So uh, now, in the same vein, in 2022, be ready for the assassin's great grandmother's old aunt with Betty White and Angela Lansbury. Uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> All right, throw that one in the sea. Uh, oh, okay. This one I have no faith in. Here we go. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan, who's an actor. You might have seen him on, uh, anybody know? Young guys? Anybody know Michael B. Jordan? Okay. Fruitvale Station. Yeah, that one. Golden right. Girls. Yeah, no. Michael B. <laughs> Jordan is renaming his new rum line, which was named Le Vif. It's <laughs> I'm not good with French. Uh, because he's being accused of cultural appropriation 
because the name is a celebration in Trinidad and Tobago based on their emancipation and freedom. Uh, it's a French word, overt. Uh, the Black Panther actor, he was in Black Panther, has apologized. One star who's refused to change the name of his new beer, Kid Rocks Trump's pee. <laughs> <laughs> they drink it. Okay. Kid Rock, everybody. Okay. 72. He's still kid. Yeah. Hey, lots of celebrity news right now. And this one, fun. On the Facebook show, The Red Table, Jada Pinkett Smith did vaginal steaming. Hey, ladies, who's done this? Raise your hand. Ooh, ew. Everybody's saying ooh on the vaginal steam. Dad, put your hand down. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. <laughs> now, Smith said, and she said this, and this is a quote, she enjoys spending her time, spending time with her vagina, showing it appreciation and care. Uh, millions of viewers connected with the show. Uh, now, my Instagram series, Penis sweating was not received as well. <laughs> Charges are pending. Okay. Okay. No one's happy with that one. Me either. Kid hey, by the way, even though most of us are vaccinated in America and we're kind of getting back to normal, that was is still causing worldwide havoc. So we really have to think about this. Mm -hmm. Only 10% of the world has been vaccinated and in Kabul, Afghanistan, the U.S. Embassy now has 159 cases with some staffers on oxygen and getting sicker. That is so bad. Uh, mm -hmm. The COVID is so bad at the embassy that they've invited the Taliban leadership over for an intimate dinner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, only Alice enjoyed that joke. Nobody else. Huh? Always put a pandemic together with the Taliban if you want the big yeah. laughs. Glad I invited uh, Mary and Jeff. They're regretting it. Okay. <laughs> Somebody just told me that Kid Rock is only 50. So he's younger than me. Yeah, but he looks like crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kid. <laughs> By the way, uh, did you know this? Every 24 hours, little fact, every 24 hours, 27,000 trees are cut down to make toilet paper. Did you all know that? I know, which is why I stopped using toilet paper years ago and started using baby harp seal fur. <laughs> Come on. Under the sea. Under the sea. Hey, hey, here's a joke. You're going to like it. If you can't afford the 55 million it cost to travel to space on the SpaceX capsule, a Florida company will take you there for $125,000 via balloon. That's cool. <laughs> uh, the main rule of the trip is you can never say squirrel. <laughs> little up reference right there. So, uh, by the way, so, uh, so it's the starship Neptune, by the way, uh, and it will have a snack bar and the balloon is the size of a football field. And its name, Neptune, is a god of the sea, you may know, which is where they'll find your body when the thing pops at 100,000 feet. <laughs> Under the sea. Under the sea. But you can wipe with a, a, a seal. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> now, let's get serious. Rudy Giuliani has been suspended from practicing law by the state of New York, everybody. <laughs> Just in time for Joe Bates to move there. He can't find a lawyer. He was suspended oh, because of all of his lies about the 2020 election. Uh, in a statement, Rudy said, the joke's on them. I've done nothing in the last 15 years that even resembles the law. <laughs> By the way, the question is, what will the ex-New York City mayor do now that he needs work? Well, I know. And here are some of the things Rudy Giuliani is considering to do now that he's not a lawyer. Number one, the thing that Rudy's going to do, join the dinner theater circuit in the odd couple with the My Pillow guy. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's Oscar? Rudy. Rudy. Uh, the second thing that Rudy might do now that he needs a job, 
get ahead of the game and start lying about the 2024 election. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I thought I thought Steve's dad was here. The third thing, <laughs> the third thing that Rudy might do now that he needs a job, show up Sean Spicer and be even more creepy on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, see how much hair dye melts on that one. That's <laughs> And by the way, the last thing that Rudy Giuliani is looking to do now that he needs a job, full-time shirt tucking. Ew. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, wait, I have one more. I'm sorry. One more joke. By God, when's this going to be over, folks? <laughs> but this is really uh, fun. I saw this. Uh, Bill Clinton has a new novel out with James Patterson. Uh, it's about an ex-president whose only daughter is kidnapped. Uh, said to be one of Bill's greatest fears, actually, mm -hmm. that that would happen. Uh, mm -hmm. The book is titled, The President's Daughter. Now, the first idea was that the president's wife was kidnapped, but the title, Wishful Thinking, seen down the All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a Steve brings himself in. Look at that, Steve. He's going to do a top 10 list, and I'm going to go rethink my values. Okay, you're out. Hi, everybody. One more time for Brad Tassel. That was some awesome stuff. You may clap now. I assume everybody's clapping. All right, good. <laughs> no, it's, it's time for today's top 10 list. Happy summer, everybody. Brad Yay. is celebrating by broadcasting from the beach somewhere in Fiji. And I am celebrating because our top 10 category is top 10 signs of summer. 2021. It's a little different this year than some other years. Let's get started. Number 10. Ted Cruz is trying to sneak off to a resort in Siberia while the Texas power grid does a marvelous job. <laughs> Number nine. As a yearly salute to the Tour de France, Lance Armstrong is again injecting steroids directly into his remaining testicle. <laughs> I know. Number eight. The French have added appropriate lyrics to their national anthem. Lance Armstrong has one testicle and he's a lying sack of crap. <laughs> you produced that. I did. Thank you very much. Number seven. The most popular boy's name for newborns of anti-vaxxer parents is... Okay. Chip. Chip. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> the top 10 signs of summer 2021. Number six. The most popular gender neutral names for newborns of anti vaxxer parents are Gullible, Nitwit, and Dances with Fork Stuck to Arm. <laughs> <laughs> These are all true. Yeah. <laughs> Number five. It's Halloween in June, and you should come to our show. Get tickets at www.stevegoody.com. Yes. Get it. One, you only need one ticket. One. One ticket. You just need one. Uh, okay. These are the top 10 signs of summer 2021. Number four. Melinda Gates' bumble picks are all in bikinis. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Is that real? Yeah. <laughs> number four. Number three. Bill Gates, too. Oh no! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Number two, Bill Clinton's too. <laughs> wow, he's got a big head. Yeah. And the number one sign of summer 2021, Lance Armstrong's too. <laughs> Lance Armstrong has one testicle and he's a lying sack of crap. I didn't mean for those to both happen at the same time. That, oh, that, well, that was great. Let's hear it, everybody. Let's hear it. Thanks, everybody. That was fantastic. And, and two weeks, we're attacking Lance Armstrong. I like that. <laughs> we haven't heard from this guy in 10 years. <laughs> two weeks, we're on him. I love it. I love it. So, hey, I wasted so much time that I don't want to waste anymore. And we have one of the most talented people that I've loved ever since I met her back in the early 70s. Let's look at her. There she is. It's Lord Mayor, everybody. Yay. I have to give a major shout out to Steve, even if that was unintentional. The dissonance of those two people <laughs> playing together was brilliant. Thank you very much. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, all right, I got two super, super short songs for you because I couldn't decide. I did religion last time or a few times ago, and so I couldn't decide whether I should do politics or sex, so I decided to do both, although there's politics in the sex. So a super quick pair of songs to comment on current events, because what the hell, let's get political and offend somebody. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Go this fun. is dedicated to all the states that are... Um, once again, passing more restrictive laws about women's reproductive choices. And um, since we got a few women in the audience and Patty's going to be joining us, this is for the gals and the guys who aren't dicks to us. <laughs> <laughs> if men could get pregnant, contraception would be a basic right. Access to birth control would never be cut. No one would say you only needed it because you're a slut. The pill would probably be the method favored. And it would be free and bacon flavored. <laughs> if men get pregnant about sex said we wouldn't be so uptight. States wouldn't make up legal contortions to keep men from having safe legal abortions and a real effective morning after a pill you know would have been invented like a hundred years ago if men could get pregnant they'd decide exactly when they wanted to conceive they'd have cool pregnancy comfort devices and stretch marks would be a national health crisis about natural childbirth men wouldn't give heck to me because it would be as rare as natural vasectomy <laughs> could get pregnant they'd get at least two weeks fully paid maternity leave they'd proudly breastfeed in public and not cower they'd want to show off their size and squirting power so as for women's choice, I hope men view it by thinking about what if they had to do it. This reproductive battle we'd have already won it. If men could get pregnant, the world would be a better place because women would run it. If men could get pregnant, just kidding, not really. <laughs> Oh, let's go from sex to politics um, and this is um, basically dedicated to everything that's been going on in the news lately so wish me luck this is my the, I did this short enough to make it a TikTok so this song is 60 seconds long <laughs> okay here we go oh, I like that part <laughs> a lie is still a lie no matter how you try to spin it so let's see how many I can bust in just under a minute. Biden won, there was no fraud, so easy voting shouldn't be outlawed. The Capitol attackers weren't tourists on a trip, and the GOP killed bipartisanship. That's three. The history of the USA shows systemic racism, which we still have today. Vaccine cards are not Jim Crow, which people who study history know. That's five, I'm running out of fingers. Trans kids aren't an existential threat. Homophobia is not over yet. Climate change can be dismissed. But Jewish face lasers don't exist. <laughs> the filibuster's not in the Constitution. It'll kill democracy. We need a solution. Income inequality is getting worse, and sexism is still a curse. Fossil fuels are outdated. Trump will not be reinstated. QAnon's a hoax. COVID's not. There's no microchips in the vaccine shot. In a country so divided by conspiracies and cults, I can't believe we have to keep explaining this to adults. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, come on. Let's hear it right now for her. She's over there. I don't know where she is. She's over there. Yeah, she's on your right. Uh, who cares? Lauren, that was amazing. And by the way, if men could get pregnant, there would be no children. Okay. <laughs> That's why we have to do it. So everybody go to laurenmayer.com, even if that's not hers. And it is mine. <laughs> but what's not on there is also go to themarsh.org because I have a one woman show coming up on Ooh. Marsh and it's free. So well, that is know, fantastic. And your YouTube is blowing up. It's uh, Lauren Mayer. Probably. Hundreds and tens of views. And, and the trolls have found me again. So this is great. They hate you. You know, me you again. can do, uh, did you know that you can do, uh, uh, you can do, uh, uh, hey, look, I got, I went, I went away. Uh, you can do, uh, <laughs> Hell, I could do the vampire's ball. What? Oh, yes. I don't know. <laughs> my brain has just lost all things right there. You're about to tell me I could do something, and I'm curious to know what it is I can do. You can. Uh, I cannot 
Multitask. I, I, I cannot make me big again. <laughs> I've, I've rendered Brad. You just talk. I'll make you big. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I might have come out wrong. So did that. Let like me take care of that. Oh, well, no, my, my, my video got stopped. So. <laughs> There okay. he is. Okay. There I am. So, so uh, back to what we were saying. I can dot dot dot. I don't care. Yeah, Lord, man, everybody. <laughs> What's here for? This is the smoothest man. show we've ever had. <laughs> we are, uh, we are falling apart. Make me make highlight me, Steve. I can't. There do you it. Go. Thanks. I was going to offer to make you big, Brad, uh, but I thought that might come out wrong. <laughs> so Thank you for your Sadly, at my age, Kid Rock and I aren't getting very big anymore. <laughs> But if I could get pregnant, <laughs> let me tell you, there'd be no children. So, okay, well, let me look at uh, the crowd. Uh, is Joe Bates still here? Hey, he stayed. Yes, he I can't believe it. <laughs> Joe Bates still here. Let's bring Joe Bates up. I'm just, I'm not going to take a chance. And hey, it. Steve, you're in charge. Hi, Joe. This is Joe Bates. He's a New York based famous comedian. Yeah, I'm on SNL. Yeah. <laughs> so, wait, what? no, wait, what night is this? It's Thursday. No, let me oh, ask you a question. TNL. Yeah, before before we let you talk for ten minutes, okay. uh, you moved to New York, yeah. uh, and uh, how's it going? Are you are you are you talking in any clubs? Are you doing any gigs? Uh, I've got four parking tickets so far. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have to take a loan out to pay for dinner for the rest of the week. Um, other than that, things are going good. Uh, <laughs> just keeping the we're kind of taking the dogs. We we have a dog we brought here. We have to cut its vocal cords because the landlord doesn't know we have a dog. Uh, so that's been a whole thing. Um, Wait a minute! Stop. <laughs> You're doing this? This is fake, right? <laughs> yeah, this is fake. Oh, thank <laughs> yeah, God! Sorry. Oh my God! The, the oh, veil Brad, Brad has been lifted. Comedy. No, the you had, you had two people on the phone right now calling you. Hey, uh, Joel Bates is uh, cutting the dog's vocal cord. So, yeah, okay, next you're gonna tell me fixed, Salma Hayek no is real. Okay, uh, I'm gonna let Joe Bates talk. You talk ten minutes. Go. <laughs> okay, for ten minutes I will just talk, not do jokes. Um, <laughs> let me tell you a story. A now, I was that. thinking about the Salma Hayek thing with him saying earlier with the no women don't have an expiration date, and I'm like. What are all these Zoom funerals I've been going to saying? Uh, <laughs> oh. It seems to be a very big expiration date. Uh, <laughs> no, you're right. I did just move here to New York City. I came here in my hybrid uh, car. We drove here in my hybrid car, which Indiana hates because it's electric, and New York hates because it's gas. So I'm never going to win. That's that's been nice. I can't imagine. I got a. I have a. We got a pandemic doggy. Me and my girlfriend, uh, who you met two weeks ago, uh, my girlfriend and I. I got a the grammar correct. Uh, I we we got a dog, and when you get a dog, everyone tells you how to raise a dog and how to take care of it. Like they're like, oh hey, you can't feed a dog chocolate. I'm like, the last twelve dogs I had loved it, dude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I I can't imagine what my dog is going through because I had a house in Indiana. I had a house for the yard, oh. and uh, now we're moved into an apartment uh, with two I, I, two other roommates. Uh, so <laughs> my dog can't be thinking I'm doing very well. Uh, <laughs> he keeps like when I'm sitting down, he'll come by and put his paw on me and like Robert Williams and Goodwill Hunting just tell me it's not my fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. And uh, I break down. Uh, oh. he's, pretty, he's, pretty cute. Uh, he's a cute dog. Uh, we have an Instagram for the dog because yes, we are white. Um... <laughs> I'm hoping someone someone in the family becomes famous. Uh, <laughs> I don't care how anymore. Uh, <laughs> but no, it's been good. I, 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 we got it during the pandemic. My girlfriend and I, we've been quarantining together. I don't know if you guys have been quarantining with someone you love, but the first week, it's great. You know, you have all the, the, the intercourse you want. And the second month, it's like, I will buy you a house. I will buy you a house <laughs> six blocks away, socially distanced house. Uh, I love my girlfriend. Like, there's just an age difference. She's seven years younger than me, which is I'm 19, but it's not a big deal. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I do. I love my girlfriend, so I can't imagine my life without her, unless I just think back far enough. Uh, <laughs> and 
that's just memory at that point. Uh, <laughs> but no, it's 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 been it's been it's been nice. Uh, it's been nice to be out here uh, with her. I'm not good at being single. I fall in love too quickly. Anything a lady says, I'm in love. You're like you're tall. I'm like I love you. You know. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're in my way. I'm like, you're in my heart. Let's make this work. Uh, <laughs> they're like, I have a kid. I'm like, uh, nope. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's been good. No, life's been all right. We had the, we had the, uh, I'm excited to do things now. Now that we've all getting vaccinated, we can actually go out and do things. Like, I want to go uh, be a tourist. You know, I want to go visit places. I want to go go on the, the DC and go on tours on DC, see the Smithsonian. But I feel like the tour for the Capitol is going to be like a very different experience now where they're like, <laughs> okay, we're going to show you how to make a bill. First, it starts here at the house of representatives. And then, it, Oh, you, you want to see where the rioters broke in? Okay. Or, well, let's go, <laughs> let's go check out where the, this is the window they came in. Yeah. Okay. If everyone, if you want to, there's a cardboard cut out of the podium. You could stand in front of it. Look like you're taking it. Uh, <laughs> $20, you can scale the outside walls. Another $20 will look the opposite way. Uh, so <laughs> There's a Mike Pence pinata. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I just want to make it clear. I, I Was anyone at the insurrection here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We didn't get him. We didn't get him. We thought we'd get him. Sorry. Uh, no. <laughs> Don't take the shot. Uh, so, <laughs> I, I, I will say that I will, just in case you guys are uh, wondering, I am from Indiana. I, I did vote Joseph R. Biden. Uh, the R stands for what was I talking about? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a tough election. I personally, I really wanted to vote with my heart, you know, just rip it out of my chest and write Alf. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what I do then, just die, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but no, so I, I, I voted for Joseph, uh, uh, Joe Biden, old Joseph R. Biden, because he's a transitional president. That's his big thing, a transitional president. You know, a lot of people want to Bernie Sanders, but it's tough. <laughs> to go from Trump uh, to Bernie Sanders, you know? It's <laughs> tough to go from grab her right by the, you know, uh, to uh, universal health care, right? <laughs> it's very tough to do that. That's why I like Joe Biden, the transitional presidency, and go from grab her right by the, you know, uh, to the just grab her hair and smell a little. Uh, <laughs> Eventually, we'll grab less and less stuff and start giving for once. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully <laughs> they can do the grant. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the terms. Um, <laughs> but he's a he's a Joe Biden. The best thing about him, he's a meh president. You know, we haven't had a meh president in like twenty eight years. Like a president who's just meh. You know, just meh. You know, I last week I forgot we had a president. <laughs> You know how awesome that is? Yeah. You know, he's not doing everything right. He's not the greatest guy, but I forgot, you know, and that is, oh, man, the load off my chest like I watch Crime Scene Kitchen, you know? <laughs> I'm so happy to forget just the meh, the beauty of meh, because the last president was, ah, you know, and this, meh, well, uh, what? So much, uh, I, another thing I found, my dad, I have a, I have a, I don't know if you guys, I have a dad. Um, so he doesn't have any friends. Uh, and by that, I mean like zero, like zero friends, like not, he doesn't have acquaintances, he doesn't have drinking buddies. My entire life, my dad has had zero friends, zero. And I thought that was normal uh, until I met other people's parents. <laughs> <laughs> and they all have friends and i talked to my dad and he i go dad why don't you have any friends he goes i don't need them <laughs> my family is my friend joe you're my best friend uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> i was like why why am i so desperate to have you be proud of me you're a loser <laughs> you know you oh. are what a dweeb! What are you eating? Eating with the lunch ladies? You know, you loser! What kind of? 
<laughs> I'm your best. My best friend's Jerry. You're not my best friend, dude. Uh, <laughs> it's very strange. He's been doing a lot of Ancestor.com. That's what he did during COVID. Uh, he wouldn't. His life would have been fine without COVID. He still would have stayed in. But uh, <laughs> he honestly didn't even need to get vaccinated. He sees nobody. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, uh, he's been done ancestry.com. That's his whole thing. So he found that we're related, uh, just for instance, uh, there's John Bates who's mentioned in Shakespeare's Henry the eighth. He's a character, real person related to him. Uh, Catherine Lee Bates wrote, uh, America, the beautiful related, uh, to her. Um, and, uh, my favorite Martin Van Buren Bates, who was a seven foot 10, uh, and he was uh, a, a captain for the Confederate Army, uh, hmm. which he survived the war, which means the Union soldiers had horrible shots. <laughs> <laughs> Worst shooting. Also, it's weird to know that you're related to literally the biggest racist in the world. Uh, so that's, that's interesting. Uh, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and nail the landing here. I'm gonna, I'm yeah, gonna, just, yeah. I'm gonna run real, real fast uh, and, and nail the landing. Uh, I, 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 you know, if I, well, if I do that, then I can't do that. So if I do that, then I can probably do that. All right, I, uh, <laughs> I don't smoke. Uh, smoke if you got them. I don't smoke. Uh, <laughs> a big fan of secondhand smoke. I secondhand smoke like a half pack a day, give or take, going next to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but on really stressful days, I will uh, do heroin. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not secondhand though. Uh, <laughs> not the hard way. So uh, I was hanging out with this girl I was dating at the time, and she got upset that I like secondhand smoke so much, and she was like, well, what, "Joe, you." That's horrible. I go, why? She goes, it's a big deal. I go, why is secondhand smoke such a big deal? She goes, it's a big deal because uh, my grandfather died of lung cancer when he was 93. And I was like, I think I think it was the 93 that got him, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's the leading cause of death for 93. The number nine is what it is. It's the number... <laughs> Nine. All right. That may not have been the best way to land. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Joe Bates. Hey, Thank you so much. Hey, Joe Bates. Yeah, that was, you really got dark at the end. Got dark. Uh, that's, that's, dad. New, that's New York, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Coming out with the dad's a loser. And, uh, and then I think Joe and three of us don't have any friends. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, started to, I started to put two and two together yeah, out we're there. We're all your dad's yeah. age and none of us have friends. So uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, my dad's 92. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> me and Kid Rock are doing yeah. the same. So. Yo, what are people going to do? Do they need to find you or do you not care? Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I desperately care for attention and uh, likes. And so uh, if you guys are on Twitter or Instagram, at uh, Joe Bates Comedy, that's really, all, 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 all of that would help me out. Uh, just even a simple follow. So, oh, that's Joe sweet. Bates Look at the group down here. None of these people know what Instagram is. No, no, I <laughs> I didn't, I, I'm on li I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> if, Are you on Lipitor? Yeah. Let me add a reference that the older folk will get. It's it's Joe Bates, the love child of Bob Seger and Cat Stevens. <laughs> I usually get one of the Property Brothers, uh, but I I don't, you don't know. know who that is. Yes. <laughs> Brad, where'd you go? Oh, I keep hitting the wrong thing in my Oh, game. Brad. Let's hear it one more time for Joe Bates while Brad... Oh, thank you! Thank you. Look, you know what? I'm just going to move right along and bring up Patty. Yay! Hey, Patty! Hey. Hello! I, uh, I, it's so funny that uh, that Joe brought up smoking because I have to tell you... So this, is, this photo behind me is the butterfly garden for the park... Uh, near my home and I we've had so many people volunteering and working on it and I decided you know what there's there's gotta be something I can do and I have not worked out at all since the pandemic started so I've started uh I started walking around my neighborhood with a garbage bag and <laughs> it sounds terrible when I'm saying it out loud do you like this but <laughs> I pick up garbage around the neighborhood and I have to tell you uh I I'm not I'm not gonna lie I judge people 
I judge when I see someone wearing like flip flops in church, I judge them, right? But <laughs> Jesus wore flip flops, so why am I judging somebody <laughs> wearing Jesus' garb in his house, right? I shouldn't judge them. Like women who wear who have those nails where they're, like they're so long and pointy. Like if you're at a store and they're working the cash register and they can't touch any of the buttons because the nails are so long, like I, that bugs me, and I judge them. But you know what? Not my life. They want to live like that and maybe rip their nails off when they get caught by a door. I don't know. Whatever. I don't judge them. But I have to tell you that the most, the number one thing that I pick up in my neighborhood are cigarette butts. And I don't understand why people think the world is their ashtray. And these are the same people that would lose their minds if they saw someone throwing a full cup of Coke out their car, a can, a bottle. Like they would be like, oh, look at this jerk being a slob. And then you will see them throw a lit cigarette out the car window, which I don't, that, but it, they're like cars. They're, and there are some people, I mean, okay, what I'm saying is there's, <laughs> I, I've seen people with rags as a gas cap, basically a mol Molotov cocktail on the highway. <laughs> Why would you throw a lit cigarette? We have gas. I mean, maybe half gas like Joe's car. Also my car. I have a hybrid as well. But I. <laughs> Hell yeah. I, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't understand. Do people think that these are going to magically, like, do they, do they think they're, like, going to dissolve? What is. So what I'm saying is I picked up over 300 you know, the cigarette butts. Oh. In terms of how this is going to move forward. Really I'm is everybody to who that is. Somebody's TV's on. That's why they're being so loud. You're getting okay. heckled by Matlock. This monologue is being... You. You. That's I'm just muting everybody. Sorry about that, Patty. Please that's, carry that's, on. I got him. No. I got him. You know what? I've decided it's not smokers. It's people who are in Zoom meetings. At <laughs> <laughs> if I muted... time... Yes, I've melted. That made me melt at the end. <laughs> <laughs> if I muted you, feel free to unmute if things are quiet. Thank you, Patty. Okay, thank you. bring me yeah, up with Patty. Patty. Bring me up with Patty, Steve. I'm going to bring you up with Patty, buddy. There you go. So, Because uh, my iPad is dying is our problem. So, hey, by the way, Patty, you did get some exercise. You got beaten really bad at ping pong last week at midnight. <laughs> you yeah. promised to rub it in yep but it was so it was and i was late i was actually doing a show right before this one because mm -hmm. i d time means nothing and i forgot that i had another show but yes brad not only beat me but taught me how to play while beating me so he's very generous as a as a winner <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I didn't I, janet was like i'm going to bed forget you guys and we played ping pong late into the night because i rented a house with ping pong after the show and it was lovely and we had a great show i mean that that was really fun but that leads me to this. Hold on a second. I'm gonna disappear. I'm gonna share something. Are you ready? I'm gonna disappear too. You gotta I'm gonna share. share. <laughs> you let me share. Here, ladies and gentlemen, if you can see that right there, Patty Vasquez and I, Neat. July 16th and 17th, will be at the Comedy Shrine in Aurora, Illinois, for four shows. I hope you can see that the 16th, 17th, 8, and 10 p.m. If you are anywhere near. Aurora, Illinois. I don't care if you're in Colorado, damn it. <laughs> Get tickets for this show. Yes. Patty and I are doing that, right, Patty? And as you can see, both of their hair will be much better than it is tonight. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, can I get a thumbs up or thumb? I think I'm gonna go back to bangs. I don't like my forehead. Oh, you can't lose. Either oh. way is fine. I was making fun of Brad. Uh, I, I, no, your hair was well. It's just, it's just kind of straight <laughs> flat right now. Yeah, well, <laughs> I like the cousin it thing. That's yeah, yeah. yeah. I, back to bangs. I drew this out during the quarantine. Hey, I think it's it? better without bangs, honestly. You look without bangs, Joe. Yeah, I think I think I think you, I think you look a lot better without bangs. No offense. What? Let's I like I I, I, no offense, but you're highly unattractive. No offense. <laughs> no, I think I think you look as great right now. <laughs> oh, thank you. With the, the garden, I just travel with the garden behind me. Okay, things are awkward now. <laughs> Yeah, oh, no. this right. has been the weirdest show we've ever had. I'm glad we have that. <laughs> that is saying something. Yeah. Patty, Patty, this is Lauren. If when you get to be my age, you'll take my hairdresser's advice, which is bangs, not Botox, but you're too young to worry about it yet. No, no I, I, uh, <laughs> I feel you. All right, let's hear it for Patty. Hey, Steve, where are you? Bring yourself in. Oh, I'm right around here somewhere. Let's see. Steve, oh, there I am. Steve, uh, called me up and demanded, he created a new video he demanded to play and make, and and uh, I voted and I got shot down. Uh, but I do like this video, so play the video. <laughs> 
Okay, this is for our upcoming Halloween show. We have three more episodes, and, and that's it. So if you'd like to see it, this is what you gotta see right here. We know it's summertime, yup, 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 yup. But it's Halloween to us. Cause we like monsters and candy and stuff. And hey, once a year just isn't enough. With vampires and werewolves and zombies and goats. And all the free candy that we love the most. We know it's summertime, yup, 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 yup. But it's Halloween to us, yup. Here's a song. Did I say quest? Yeah. Oh, I meant quest. Oh. We're searching for ghosts. <laughs> you know, I always say a great moral in that song. Yes. And yes, what is it? Is, well, the moral is that, you know, you can be afraid of stuff, but you work through it. Like we were afraid of the ghosts, but then we decided to make them our friends. And then the true moral is we decided to go out and hurt people with them. I think that's, <laughs> the <truth. laughs> that's the By the way, hey, everybody. Uh, two things. Number one, this is going to be the most edited show that we've ever done by tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to, this thing's going to be down and up again, totally edited. And number two, really, anybody who sees this, we have three more shows. Uh, go to stevegoody.com, get one ticket and come see the show. It is every day. It is at 2 p.m. in the United States Eastern. It is at 7 p.m. in the UK for UK people. And it literally five star reviews. I mean, people can't love us enough. So uh, I'm, I'm getting bigger as we speak. <laughs> okay. Well, anything else, Steve, before we do the worst joke of the week? And finish I think up? you're there. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And this truly is the worst joke of the week. So uh, no pun intended, but the story of the Florida Republican who bragged about using a Russian Ukrainian hit squad to make his rival disappear died way too quick. Did anybody hear of this? I'm not looking no. at anybody. Let me no, this is yep. see. I can't believe it. This story oh. died. This guy, okay, GOP candidate William Braddock, who looks uh, like he wouldn't think twice about sweeping Daniel San's leg, uh, <laughs> is running for Tampa Bay, a Tampa Bay congressional seat in Congress. He said he would have his primary GOP opponent, Anna Paulina Luna, made to disappear 
and said that others might be in danger around her, also threatening her in many ways. Now, the GOP leadership was asked why they haven't taken steps to stop Braddock. And their spokesman said, this guy's nothing. We haven't done anything about Matt Gates, and he's banging kids. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 joke of the week. Here's the Thursday song. We'll talk when it's done. Have a very merry Thursday. It's a special time of week when Thursday bells are peeling and life no longer seems so bleak. Let's open up our presents and carve our Thursday goose and wait for Father Thursday to arrive upon his moose. You know, we tried to incorporate all the wonderful family traditions that people associate with Thursday. Thursday comes but once a week, but do not shed a tear. Cause there are more than 50 Thursdays packed in every year. And every single one of them is full of mirth and glee. So stuff your face and break some wind and join the reverie. Have a very merry Thursday, put on your orange fez, and decorate the Thursday tree with milk, bone, spam, and pez. Once you've curled your mustache and donned your Thursday clothes, I'll catch you neath the mistletoe and punch you in the nose. Merry Thursday!